Bill Crane here. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to get what you want from your Skype recordings using Camtasia. Because using the standard recorders that are out there, they don't offer the editing tools that you need in order to accomplish the desired effect to have a quality professional video uploaded to YouTube without a lot of black space. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I recorded a podcast today with Marguerite Crispillo, and I'm going to go ahead and do some quick editing now to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So first thing I want to do is resize the uh, workspace so that I've got it in a workable format. So you can see I've got my clip in here, my clip, clip bin. So all you do, if you don't know already, is right click on it, click on Add to Timeline at Playhead. Very, very simple. And now, here's the problem that we get when we do recordings on Skype. Now, if you're not sure how to even to get it look like this, because usually what happens is one of the photos, usually the person you're talking to, is going to be very large, and then you're going to be in one of the corners. Well, on Skype, if you just minimize the screen and then make it skinny, as skinny as possible, until approximately both people are close to the same size, you won't get it perfect, then just go ahead and record that area, and you'll be able to manipulate the frames the way you want to the rest of the way using Camtasia Studio. Okay, so now that we've got that, all we do, simply right-click on it in the clip bin again and add it to the playhead again. So you see what happens. We Now we now have two separate videos in there twice. This is what enables us to go ahead and manipulate it to make it look the way we want it to look so it's very usable. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and put one to the top right and the other one to the top left. The next thing that you want to do is go ahead and in your uh, tracks select track 3 and 4 in this case if there is more videos you would have to do this to other tracks as well but in this case it's track 3 and 4 I'm gonna go ahead and click on audio and I'm gonna silence those two extra tracks because I don't want to hear them at all it's just duplicate it could create feedback or whatever okay so now that we've got both of our video clips in here which are really just a duplicate clip what we want to do is crop them so go ahead to the top right corner and click on this toggle crop mode little tool and you're gonna notice that that clip turns blue so in this case on the left I'm gonna go ahead and crop it so that all that remains is myself get it to the approximate size that I want a little bit off of each side in this case and then go ahead and unselect the toggle crop mode tool select the other clip and then reselect the tool and then in this case I'm going to eliminate myself from the video so that all that remains is Marguerite a little bit off of each side again unselect the tool bring that back to the top right now what Camtasia does which is very very nice is it it'll throw up these guidelines whenever we're in certain places for example the center so we want these videos to be approximately uh, the same size so if I just drag and drop on the corner here it's going to make it larger so so right now it's telling me that it's the same size as that picture it'll pull it a little bit more it's going to tell me that it is now centered in terms of being vertical and horizontal and now I'm gonna do it to mine as well and see it's not exactly perfect but that's okay there's a little bit of space there and we're gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit more so we can see one of the reasons why it wasn't perfect is because I need to move this one over to the left slightly and now I'm gonna pull it to the center again in terms of being vertical and you can see that on Marguerite's uh, there's a little bit extra space so I'm gonna make these the same size again and now I'm just gonna move it over to the right a little bit so that literally falls off the page 
Uh, now that it's larger, you can even see that on, on mine, I want to crop this down just slightly more. So that uh, background image from Skype, the blue line is gone. And then even on uh, the bottom here, it looks like it needs a tad bit more. Go ahead and recrop it slightly, unselect it. And now on, on Marguerite's, I'm thinking, well, do I want that picture in there? I'm not real sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add from uh, a clip bin. So I, this black stripe that's at the bottom, I want to go ahead and add a graphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my other screen on my desktop, go into my Bill Crane Productions folder, and then I'm going to look for some some different logos. I'm going to go into Insider, Insider Logos, and let's see if we've got what I'm looking for here. Let's go, that's a PNG, so it's going to be black. I want a JPEG, so it's going to have a nice white background. We'll go ahead and insert that. All we do is simply drag and drop over to the clip bin. And then once that's done, we're going to right click, add to timeline to playhead, and then that boom, it's in there. So I'm going to drag this to the bottom. And now I have some choices to make. I still have some black space. And this logo is proportioned the way it was meant to be. So in this particular case, since there's this camera in the background that I might want to get rid of, it's kind of neat but I'm going to get rid of a little bit of it so that bookshelf's completely out of the way. And then we'll drag here, make this slightly larger. So basically all you're doing is you're going back and forth and you're playing with it to see how you want to get it. Now in this case, you know what? I don't really care if Skype's logo is in there. So I'm going to shrink that off. I want my logo over here. And we just keep on playing with it until we got the size that we want. Perfect. Drag it over here on the right. And there we go. Everything's totally proportioned and makes sense now. We've got my Real Estate Insider logo in there and we're ready to produce. So now that we've got it all filling up the screen, you should probably know what to do from here, but go ahead and click on File produce and share. When I'm uploading to YouTube, I like to go full 1080 and not with the smart player. Just a regular MP4 with 1080. Gonna then click the next button, name it, whatever you want to name it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to just call it Camtasia Tutorial and then click finish and we're all done. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this very helpful. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next video. If you haven't already claimed your free copy of my book, Generating Clients for Life, make sure you go to proventoprofit.com where you'll not only get a free copy of my book that helps you to attract, leverage, and retain more clients than you could ever imagine so that you can make more money in less time, live your life by design and not by default, so that you can be, do, and have everything you've always wanted, needed, and desired. Simply go to ProvenToProfit.com and claim your free gift and a whole lot more.